We are here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Robert Bosley about a new aircraft you've got here, and one I understand is a movie star to boot. What are we looking at here? That's correct. This is a British design SE5A. We built this particular aircraft to add it to our line of aircraft. We, this is our 25th unique design. I was design. just going to ask you, how many have you got? There's so many, I can't count that. I, this is our 25th, 25th, huh? 25th year in business, 25th year with the new design. Wow. Uh, this particular aircraft was built for an upcoming movie that we just uh, went out to California and spent the entire month of January okay. filming. Can we know what the movie is yet? Yeah, it's called Uba Canoe, which apparently in Uba German... Canoe? Uba Canoe. Uba is big and Canoe is gun, like Top Gun or Big gun, one. okay. Yeah. I see it. Cool. But Top Gun from a little earlier era than that other movie with that yeah, same name. That's correct. So it's does that mean it's a German movie? Well, there's a German. There's some German uh, British interaction, let's say, put it that way, and it takes place in the desert in North Africa. All right. Well, don't tell us anymore. We don't want to spoil a movie for moviegoers, but pretty cool. So it's a movie star airplane. Did you build it just for them? Well, it was, or were you building it anyway? Well, it was built specifically, the prototype was built for the movie. Now that the prototype is done and completed flight testing, it has become a kit for us. Okay. So it will be a, it's in kit production. We'll so once again, now let's go over how you do kits. This looks like one of those things that would be, I don't know, scratch built or something because people are going to imagine, well, somebody actually builds the pieces and parts here, but tell me how you handle that. Well, our kits are a little bit more involved in that. For instance, on this particular airplane, the fuselage is a 4130 fuselage, and it's pre-welded. So when a, when a customer gets this kit, he'll have... They didn't have to do any welding. No welding. The engine mount's welded, fuel tank's welded, the fuselage is welded. On the fuselage, you've got the wing attached fittings, horizontal stabilizer fittings, uh, landing gear fittings, the main fittings, and things like that. So all the hard points are already in the airplane, including the engine mount. Excellent. So basically, the builder has to build the wings, tail feathers, and put the gear and things like that. Okay, cool. Um, what kind of time does it take to do If I said, man, SE5, I've been looking for this. Uh, first of all, how quick can you get me a kit if I said... Sign me up. Lead time's typically between six and eight weeks. Okay, that's and, pretty short. Yeah, it's pretty short. And build time is approximately 450 hours. Well, that's not very long. It's pretty fast. Again, a lot of the... Is that for someone who already knows how to build 25 different airplanes already? Well, I do it in about half that amount of time. Uh, really? So, okay, yeah, wow. We figure that's a realistic amount of time. Is that right? Were you on a uh, deadline with this one, Robert, like you've been on some of the others? Yeah, we were on a very short time frame. We had 30 days to complete this airplane. Is that right? From the time you said, here's what we're going to build till you had it built? We had to be 30 on the set. Days. Actually, 31 days we had to be on the set. So we had 30 days plus oh, one okay. day to drive well, 31 it there. days. That's completely different. <laughs> yeah. That is mighty impressive. There's a lot of folks that say that can't be done, but you've got 25 airplanes prior that have their... Well, they're not identical, of course, but they have similarities between the designs? Well, across all of our designs, we have a lot of similar parts. I mean, we'd be foolish to reinvent the wheel for every time you need a wheel, right? So we we understand the control systems, the wings, the air pools, the spinners. So, so we so are able to kind of borrow from different correct, bins yeah. and, and assemble them in a different way. Yeah, we could kind of look at it like an erector set. If you ever had a erector set when you were a kid, sure, you oh a bunch yeah. of parts. Well, we've got a bunch of stock parts that we use, and then we work those stock parts and then add whatever unique ones we need to get get the design for after. And you run shy, you just go down to the local toy store and get some more? <laughs> well, Not quite, don't do that at all. Fortunately, we have our own machine shop, so we just go make more as we need. Yeah, even so, closer, yeah. you don't have to get in your car at all. Yeah. Excellent. Now, um, you're powering this with something different, though, from what I've seen in the past, Robert. Uh, well, yeah, yes and no. This is actually a Volkswagen power plant, but it has a reduction drive, and a lot of our full-scale aircraft are using redrives now. So this is a bigger VW 2200. That's different VW. than in the past for you. Correct. Well, a lot of more direct drives. We had Rotaxes. We've got some direct drive VWs, some redrive, and some Rotax radial powered airplanes. So, so it's not off the beaten path by any means, but it is a, 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 Ro a Volkswagen with a reduction drive. So have you got, is it it's mocked up a little bit for itself? For example, the exhaust pipe, is it a real exhaust pipe? Or is it that, a, that is a real exhaust. That is the real just exhaust Just the way the original aircraft would have had, we would have had four stubs coming into the, to the pipe. We have two stubs. Uh, we got four cylinders, we have a V8. Right, you don't need the same thing. So the original one of these had a V8 engine in it. That's correct. Is that right? The original V8. This airplane was originally, I believe it was about 1,600 pounds empty. Okay. We're under 700 with this aircraft. So even full fuel. All right, less than was, half the original weight, huh? Correct, less than half the original weight. Wow. Uh, the wings do detach, which comes apart in you know, less than an hour or so for trailer and transport. Is that right, really? Yeah, they, they're stubbed on. you got a spin, center suction in them. Uh, I see. Stubbed. Okay, yeah, I see the gap down here. So. So you can do, do they slide off? You got to just connect. Well, you wires. have to release all the wires. There's yeah. quick pins on, on the attached fittings. Okay. And then the wings come off. The main steps come out. But it, as, a, as far as a biplane goes, it comes apart relatively easy. And about how long is that? From a couple hours. A couple hours. Couple you're hours. ready to put in a crate, or not a crate, but a trailer. Yeah. 
take it someplace else. It's the type of thing you would do maybe at the winter. You would bring home for the winter, or do your do your annual, do your maintenance or something. Uh, okay. You wouldn't want to do it every day necessarily. But yeah, a couple you hours. Do it, yeah, at the beginning of the season, take it to the airport and bring it home in the fall. Or something. Sure, great, yeah. excellent. Robert, there wouldn't have been any plans for this airplane available. How did you get it to look the way that it did based on memory? Did well, you look at pictures or something? We, there's there's some it? stuff around. I mean, Replicraft is certainly a good starting point. Uh, there's some models, that, uh, plans that really do nice detail. And, and we start with that. Had they adopted from or adapted from the original or something? No, no, How they, they were just that? drawings off the original airplane. Okay. Everybody knows what the wingspan is, the cord was, the tail point, things like that. So if we can get a one good quality three view drawing with a scale on it, then we can interpret what we need to do. And that's basically what I do. I, I don't need my spars are in the new where I want them to be. My ribs, everything's determined by you know, it's a new it's a new structure. It has nothing to do with the original airframe. It never has. None of my airplanes do. It's just the they, they, shape. they have the look and appearance and maybe do they have the flight characteristics of the originals? Would you say? Well, it's half the weight, so it's got to be something. Different. They are considerably less wing loading and better power to weight ratios. And because the wing loaders are lighter, they tend to get off faster, climb steeper. They don't normally have as much top speed. You know, maybe off top speed a little bit. But uh, well, they had just, a much bigger engine though to lift all. Correct. That stuff. Yeah. They, they just, you've got to start chasing your tail with all the bigger heavy right. parts. But uh, this airplane, like I say, is under half the weight, and man, is it! really gets off the ground. How much power does the engine put out in this configuration? Approximately 110. 110, okay. And what was that original V8 that they had in here? It was 200, I believe 25 to 250. Wow, okay. so up. more than twice as much power, and yet this one, in some ways, outperformed it. Not at cruise speed, but in right. 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 is, is this one of the Valley Engineering engines? Yes, it is. This is one of the Valley Engineering engine reductions and props. All right, our friends over at Valley Engineering supplying you some stuff here. Where do you... Uh, so if I said, okay, I want to build it, I want to start, can you get them any assistance, or how does that part work? Probably? Yeah, we do builder's assist as well. When the customer orders the kit, it takes us our six day weeks to get it done. Instead of us shipping it, normally they'll just come to our shop. And where is that? In Holden, Missouri. Holden, and Missouri. what we do is uh, we'll open up the box with them, or let them have the experience of opening the box, and we'll get the plans out, and we'll go through step by step what we're going to do, and, and we'll help them build the airplane. So typically in about... Oh, three to five days, depending on what they want to do. But two days, we have the entire fuselage done. Now, where this two one, days, is that yeah, right? Wow. Where this welded fuselage has most of that done anyway, we would start right in on the tail plane on the first and second day. Ah, so okay. This airplane, by the end of the second day, would have the tail plane. Wow. Uh, day three, we would put it up on the landing gear, and by day four, we'd be building all the wing assemblies. <laughs> so in the first week, you've got something that looks a lot like an airplane. Yeah. You, and we, then where does the rest of the time come in? Uh, well, you know, ribs, control systems, there's a lot of details, but typically, you know, if you want to stay six or seven days, uh, seven days, I'd say we could probably have the primary structure up in the airplane. Is that right? Yeah. Including the wing, you said? Yeah, yeah, the wings, okay, ribs. Okay, so there's a lot of detail you said in the wing, so so how does that match Yeah, up but with? I mean, we wouldn't have the ailerons working, we wouldn't have the control system. I see, okay. As far as having the rib parts made, ready to install on the ribs, you know, and I would say, let's put it this way, probably in seven days, we could have you pass most of the critical task. Is that right? Yeah, just a week. So, so with class. somebody that comes and uses your builder assist, I mean, they're not going to they're not going to come and spend 400 hours all at once. No, no uh, they would just. And go would it be faster if they came to builder's assist? It would it be less yeah, than 400 it would hours? Be, it would be closer to 200. Is that right? Okay, so so 200 hours, you know, divided by 40 hours in a week, five weeks, uh, somebody could have all of them. Oh, they would certainly. Have. This airplane is done in four weeks. Wow, yeah. So that's pretty fast. But most people probably can't afford to come and spend all that time with the other. Well, it's hard for us to keep that pace up anyway. Say, I mean, were, it's, yeah. it's kind of like a boot camp deal. We can do it for a few days at a time, but I'm getting too old to do it. <laughs> 20 or 30 days. So typically, what does somebody do? Do they do a week's worth and come back? Well, what we suggest is come in and do a couple days. At the end of a couple days, make a decision. Right? They, usually, they're comfortable just to go. I see. They've gotten enough they advice from you then to go. Yeah, okay, I got the couple more. Yeah, that's fine. But normally, a couple day build really gives a, uh, a builder just a lot of confidence. To go. Okay, I got one more question for you, and we always caution our viewers. Don't take price as a fixed thing because it changes. These videos are out for a while. But get me in the ballpark of what this thing is going to cost me right here. Right. This airplane's been introduced at thirteen thousand six ninety five. Okay. It's the deluxe airframe includes all the welded parts, machine parts, fuel tanks, yeah. tires, wheels, covering supplies, everything to build the airframe. I'm with guessing the that's engine back. Correct. No. With the exception of the engine instruments and propeller, those are left up to the builder. Okay. Right. And if you add all of that, getting it in the air for about what? Uh, you'd be in the low 20s, 22 to 24,000 probably. Wow, think about that. Now, that number could change, but it's already so low that even if it goes up 50% over the years, it's still a very modestly priced airplane. And we're at the 100th year of World War I, too. There you go, another benchmark in your in your career of building uh, 
vintage and replica airplanes. Very cool. Uh, you've given us a lot of information, Robert. Where do we go to get even more? Uh, visit our website at airdromeaeroplanes.com and uh, it's www.airdromeaeroplanes. All right. Just like it says right on the shirt there, we'll have it up on the screen for all our viewers. Lots more videos, lots more pilot reports and other information available at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for joining Robert and me here at Sun and Fun.